Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking about the latest releases from Tom Ford, part of the um, Soleil 2018 or Spring Summer 2018 line. I think more is coming, but I figured let me just kind of get these products out of the way. This video is going to be long enough because I've purchased uh, most of what's come out and I want to compare it with things that have come out in previous seasons. So put your PJs on, grab a drink, and let's get into it. All right, let me just run down what I'm going to be talking about so you can be sure that I'll be covering something that you were interested in. So I did get the Large Soleil Contouring Compact. That's the one that's like a face palette. I got the Sheer Cheek Duo, which is the one in the compact. I also purchased the Shade and Illuminate uh, sunstruck glow stick that's that dual ended cream stick I also purchased the two uh, shade and illuminate eye cold duos these are the double ended eyeliners so I also purchased the two lip color shears in nudist and bamboo I also purchased the the two new cream and powder eye colors emerald isles and azure sun and Am I forgetting anything else? And I also purchased five of the new uh, extreme eyeshadows. So I've been able to spend more time with more products and not a lot of time with some other products. So I'll talk about what is more of a first impression and more and what is more of a review. Um, so let's start with the Soleil Contouring Compact. This was the product that I was most excited for. It comes in the typical gold box, the um, faux kind of velvet pouch, and this is the one that usually has a highlighter, blush, and a bronzer. As you will notice, first of all, <laughs> first of all, I just want to mention, in the photos online, either at Neiman Marcus or whatever retailer, the two highlighters are swapped so that this cooler highlighter is on top and this uh, warmer highlighter is at the bottom. It gave me the sense that this was sort of a really light bronzer, but that is not the case. Both of these are definitely highlighters. One is warm, one is cool, and then we have the blush in the middle. I personally was a little bit disappointed. I like face palettes a lot. That's actually probably my biggest weakness. I just love face palettes, and I love them because I can take them traveling, they're easy, I can pull one out and I can use, you know, just one compact for like, you know, my entire cheek look. Now I feel like I have to use an additional bronzer and I think to get rid of a bronzer in a Soleil collection is very weird. I thought that was a really weird choice. The other reason why I'm a little bit disappointed in this particular compact is um, if you take a look at the first face palette that came out, which is the Afternooner, the top two shades, the, the warm highlighter and the blush, and I'm going to try and hold these side by side, they're pretty big. So this is the Afternooner, this is the Nude Glow, the new one, and if you look at the top two, the highlighter and the blush, the top two products, they are almost, almost identical. The highlighter is pretty much identical. The blush, the tone is a little bit off. So let me go ahead and swatch them for you, just so you can see. So this is the highlighter and the blush from the new one, the Nude Glow. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch right underneath it, the Afternooner. So here is the Afternooner highlighter, right underneath. So here's the Nude Glow highlighter, here's the Afternooner highlighter, and then here is the Afternooner blush and the Nude Glow blush. The Nude Glow blush is a little bit uh, more like punchy, corally, but it's almost like you can barely tell. The highlighters, again, here's Nude Glow, here's the Afternooner. This one is maybe a little bit deeper, but you can barely tell. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. And then I thought, well, is the bottom highlighter similar to anything? And it is incredibly similar to the highlighter that was in last year's Soleil Contouring Compact, which was called um, Soleil Afterglow. This is the one that was, um, I thought, nicer for deeper skin, to skin tones. It was cooler. So this is number two, um, Soleil Afterglow. And just take a look at that top highlighter. And I'm going to hold the Nude Glow upside down. And those two highlighters are almost identical. So let me swatch those for you. I'm going to swatch the Nude Glow Cool Highlighter here, and then I'm going to swatch the Soleil Afterglow right underneath. So this one is Soleil Afterglow, and then this one is Nude Glow. But they are almost identical. 
So if you bought the two contouring compacts from the previous two years, you pretty much don't need this year's um, contouring compact. So um, again, I was a little bit disappointed. I thought, you know, between the Afternooner and the Soleil Afterglow, the first two, they were pretty different and I was pretty impressed with that. I was like, that's really nice. Um, they really went there. I don't know what happened with this one. Another thing that I find peculiar about this particular compact is the blush, while it performs great and it's a really lovely color, it is really, really powdery compared to these two powders in here, compared to the other contouring compacts. For some reason, this particular blush is very, very powdery. So just sort of keep that in mind. It is um, something that if you do purchase this, this is something that you want to be careful with because I just went right in with my brush and there was all this powder everywhere and it's very, very pigmented and you know, with blush, very quickly you look like a clown. So just be careful with that. If you do go in a little bit heavy, just make sure you tap off the excess. I'm not generally, you know, that opinionated or picky about, um, you know, things that have a lot of kick up or whatever, but when you're dealing with something that has three different products in there, I really hate the idea that this powder is going to kind of contaminate the other two things. So every time I use the blush, I kind of have to like blow it off. I want to make sure that I'm not getting any of this color into the highlighter. So that's one concern of mine. And so when it comes to this contouring compact, I was a little disappointed. All right, next we have the Sheer Cheek Duo. And this year's colorway is called Exotic Flora. And it's really pretty to look at. It has a much cooler, deeper kind of pink shade on top and then a really punchy kind of um, warmer color at the bottom. Now, again, I went to the previous two um, Sheer Cheek Duos that I have and lo and behold, I feel like if you bought the other two years, the Bicoastal and the Paradise Lust, that you wouldn't need this. So here is Bicoastal. This bottom shade, I'm going to hold this upside down now, is very, very similar to the top shade in Exotic Flora. And let me go ahead and swatch those two for you. So here is Exotic Flora from the new palette. And here is by Coastal's uh, darker shade. Now they're definitely a little bit different. This one is a lot brighter. But on the cheek, I'm not exactly sure if you'd be able to tell the difference too much. And then let me do Exotic Flora's like corally color here, that one. So there is Exotic Flora coral color. And then here is Paradise Lust coral color. These are extremely close, extremely close. So if you have the two previous Sheer Cheek Duos, I don't think you need this one. I don't know, I don't know why, especially when it comes to blush. There are a lot of colors you can go with and I'm not exactly sure why I feel like they are, um, I don't know, kind of rehashing what they've done already. It would have been great to see, I don't know, like a really neutral one, like a really nude kind of color in here, especially since they didn't do a bronzer in the contouring compact. I thought it would have been really neat if they did uh, kind of made up for that in the Sheer Cheek Duo, but alas, they did not. So another one I was a little, uh, I have to say, a little disappointed in. And that I think is all the bad news because everything else I really do like, everything else is, um, I think a little bit different for uh, Tom Ford and uh, for this Soleil line. So, so I'm just looking around trying to figure out what to talk about next. So let me talk actually about this um, stick, this dual ended shade and illuminate stick, because I really like, I really like cream products and I really like them in stick form. So I feel like he moved away from the compact um, he did a lot of shade and illuminate where the shade was more of a blush and the illuminate was like a highlighter. Um, and then he basically re-promoted the shade and illuminate intensity one with the silver packaging that came out for spring summer 18. So this was a nice change and this is in colorway sunstruck. So there is a nice, um, corally punchy color here on one end and then the other end and when I swatched this, I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do with this? Here is the quote unquote illuminate shade. It is fairly deep.
for a highlighter, at least for someone with my skin tone. Um, but I'm gonna demo this for you and it actually comes across not quite as deep. You actually can see it on my cheek here. It's just a really nice, uh, creamy, um, brightening, illuminating kind of highlighter and I really, really like it. I just don't bring it too far in. I kind of leave it back out here and it's really pretty. So I'm a huge fan of this. The formula is really nice. It's super creamy. You, just, you saw how easy it was that I um, put that on my arm. It blends out nicely. Again, you're going to see a demo of me putting this on and um, it's great. It acts as a really nice base too if you want to just lay this down first before you go in with your powder products. So I love this and I like the ease of this. As much as I love that shade and illuminate intensity one, you guys know I've been using that kind of nonstop. It appeared in my last month's favorite. The compact, I just feel it, you know, when I'm kind of going in with my finger, if I feel like I'm just messing it up and it, and it does get really, really kind of messy. Like a lot of the bronzer is like ending up in the highlight. So this is nice with the dual ended stick. I'm definitely a fan of this. So this to me was worth it. All right, let's talk about the cream and powder eye colors. So he re-released like two from previous years. I think like Naked Bronze and is it Golden Peach? Anyway, two that already came out, so I kind of ignored them, and then two new ones. So one is Azure Sun, and one is Emerald Isles. So when I saw these online and when I read the names, I figured one was just, you know, a blue version and one was just a green version. But really, the green version, which is what I have on my eyes, and again, you'll see me do a demo, um, is really like, um, like a, it gives you like a smoky look. So the green is not like a bright green. It is a very deep antiqued kind of green. So let me just swatch that for you. Oops. Let me swatch that for you right here. So that's the Emerald Isles uh, cream color. And then there is the coordinating uh, powder color on top. And for Tom Ford, these usually are toppers. They're sheer, they're very glittery, and a lot of people find them to be like pointless. Um, because they don't have a lot of pigment um, and I know last year's I can't remember the name was it Adonis I think there were two and both of them were pressed really really hard I didn't mind it because it kind of gave the lid like a really cool wet look with like a little bit of glitter but um, they changed it up this year these are they're still toppers but they're definitely much more pigmented and I think that they pack much more of a punch so this is the top of Emerald Isles, and I'm just going to swipe that underneath. Can you see how much like brighter that is than past years? It's not, it's still sheer. It still is supposed to just go on top of the cream color and allow the cream color to shine through, but there's a lot more, I feel like a lot more going on there. So that is the Emerald Isles, and then the Azure Sun. Now this is a bright blue. This is a color you don't want to be shy when you use. It is absolutely stunning. Isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. And then the topper for this one is uh, cooler in tone. It's not quite as gold as the emerald. This one is, um, I think, more pigmented than last year's. People, I think, may be disappointed because, again, it's, it's a topper and it's meant to be sheer but I think it is a really nice taupey color. I think it has more pigment than last year and you know it's still gonna be sheer enough to let that blue color kind of shine through. So I love these two. I think they're really, really cool for summer. Um, I like the toppers. I think that they are a little bit softer, a little bit more pigmented than last year, but they're still sheer and sheer enough to let the cream color kind of shine through. So I really like, you're gonna see when I kind of demo this Emerald Isles that it, it actually you can see it on my eyes right now. It's very, um, it's just a nice wash of color. And you know, sometimes as much as I like, you know, a fun color now and again, generally, my everyday wear. I just want something that's just like kind of like this light um, wash, like just a little something to make me look and feel a little bit more polished and put together. And I think the Emerald Isles is great for that. The Azure Sun is a little bit more uh, daring and a little bit more fun. So this is a nice uh, pairing, these two. And then while we're on the topic of eyes, let's talk about these two um, Shade and Illuminate Eye Coal duos. Um, 
that this is what they look like. They're white pencils and they come with white sharpeners, which is pretty cool. One is Soleil Blanc. So one end is the white color and one end is like a gold color. And let me just try and swatch these for you here. So I've been playing around with the white end a little bit and I actually have that in my waterline. I, um, I've i tried a number of different white or white-ish eyeliners to put in my waterline to see if that kind of brightens up my eyes or opens up my eyes or makes me look more awake, which is kind of the point of doing that. And I always find that it just looks like I have white eyeliner in my waterline. So I've never really been a fan of that, but this one, I have to say, here are the swatches for that. So here's the white one, here's the gold one. The white one isn't as stark as a lot of white eyeliners because it has like a pearly finish and it's just not quite as like bright, bright, bright. So I think it does the job. When I put it on, I felt like it opened up my eyes and it brightened up my eyes a little bit. Um, but I don't feel like it's just like I have... You know, it almost looks like you have white out in your waterline, and I don't like that look. I think it's too stark, and I think it's too obvious. Um, the gold is really nice. It's just a gold eyeliner. I am not opposed to that. I think it's really, really beautiful. And so far, these are performing really well for me. You know how much I like the Tom Ford Eye Coals, the Eye Coal Intense, I think they're called, which is just a single one. And I really enjoy them. They don't smudge on me. I really like the formula. They're creamy, but they're not too creamy. I don't like a pencil that's too creamy. It feels like it's too messy and soft. And then I have to be really careful until it sets. These kind of strike a nice balance. So anyway, that is the Soleil Blanc. And then the other one is La Ventura. And this is the one with like a taupey metallic color on one end, which is really beautiful. There's the taupey color. And then at the other end, we have like a really beautiful teal color, which works really, really nicely with either cream and powder eye duo. Isn't that pretty? And this also has a little bit of like a, like a pearly sheen. None of these are matte, and I'm a big fan of these double-ended pencils. All right, and then I picked up two of the lip color shears. I think these are the only two colors that have come out so far or that are going to come out um, but this is nudist number 13 and bamboo uh, number 14. i have nudist on right now and i just i love it this is probably going to be my go-to summer color so there is nudist up here and then here is bamboo which is a little bit deeper so there is bamboo i Love these. So these remind me of those lip foils that came out, not last year, I think maybe the year before. I loved those. And these are sort of like the lip foils, but like toned down a little bit. They're a little bit more sheer. The metallic effect is a little bit more of like a satin than like a high, high reflective metallic shine. And I just love them. They're easy. They're, they're Tom Ford, so they go on beautifully. They feel amazing. I just absolutely love these. Um, I know he came out with some other lip product. I think one line is a re-promote of um, his lip shines, basically. And fun fact, so these um, lip color shines, so this is the original packaging, and I think he's just re-promoting these and put them in the white package, so you can get those now with the white packaging if you want. But these are the very first Tom Ford products I ever purchased I don't know, four or five, at this point, six years ago, and um, they're still good. Isn't that weird? Yeah, they don't smell bad, but look at, <laughs> look at how crazy this one looks. So this is Nubile, and I'll swatch it for you. There is Nubile, and again, this is the um, Shine lip color. And then here is Bear, which is the lightest color, and there is Bear. So I've had issues with Tom Ford lipsticks, I don't think I'm the only one, uh, where they go bad quickly, or more quickly than, they, than I think that they should. But these, like I said, I've had for like five or six years, and they're still good. And I don't know if it's because, so I lost these for a while. Um, I had them in a bag. And I was living in New York and we didn't have a lot of storage. So I had big plastic tubs that were outside on my terrace. <laughs> Not a great place to store stuff, but 
I had no choice. And I had, I would store some of my handbags in there and these were in there. So these were basically frozen, maybe one winter, maybe two winters. And I don't know, that's kind of my theory as to why these haven't gone bad yet. So with some of the newer Tom Ford lipsticks that I've purchased, I put them in the freezer for a little bit just to see, just to see what happens. So I'll report back to you, but I'll have to report back to you in like a couple years to see if it worked. But isn't that amazing? Yeah, that these still smell fine and they still go on fine and the color is still good. And look, they're still like shiny. Anyway, I just think that that's pretty cool. Or maybe the formula was different back then because um, I think he had just come out with these. So that's why I didn't purchase any of the shine lipsticks because I had the two colors that I really liked that I wanted already and I went for the lip color shears and I'm glad I did. These are really, really a lot of fun. So all of those products I had a, a little bit of time with and that I could develop those opinions and kind of talk about them a little bit. These extreme eyeshadows, so I got five of these extreme eyeshadows. I just got in the mail. I just returned home from a trip and so I have not been able to play with them, but I thought, let me at least show them to you guys and swatch them for you so you can see the colors on me, on my skin tone or whatever. And I purchased these, or I picked these colors off of Temptalia's uh, website. I'm sure you guys all know about her website. She does great swatches, um, but she swatches all of the new extreme eyeshadows. And so I went off of her swatches and picked out these five colors. So I'm gonna start with one <laughs> because I picked one. And now all of these colors are numbered. There's no name for these extreme shadows. So this one is actually TFX1 and they come in this new chrome packaging, um, but they open the same way as the private eyeshadows. And so here is extreme one. These are so creamy. Whoa, okay. So here is extreme one. Oh man, that is beautiful. That is like gun metal. The next number I got is extreme nine. Let's check this one out. I can't even remember. It's hard to remember what, what color it is when it's just a number. Um, here is extreme nine. Ooh, yes, this is like a deep navy blue and these all seem to have um, like a, a high metallic satin finish here is number nine I like that it has a really nice deep dark base and then I got number 10 and 10 is just like a, a really really deep gray almost black there is number 10 Next we have number 11, and this one is a deep emerald green. There is the green. And then last I picked number 19, a silvery gray. This one does not feel quite as creamy as the other four. This one is definitely a little grittier. I don't know if you can see that on my finger, but it's like a little, more powdery, a little bit grittier feeling. Let's see how it swatches. Yeah, this one has like glitters in there. So the others were definitely more of like a high shine satin finish. And this is a glittery micro glitter kind of finish. I don't even know if they're very micro. Yeah, like a micro glitter finish. <laughs> those are all the products that I've purchased, some swatches, uh, my thoughts on those things. I will get back to you on the extreme shadows. I'm gonna play with them a little bit more. So if you'd like to see my demo using most of the Soleil products to achieve this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start with the Shade and Illuminate Glow Stick. This is the dual-ended uh, blush and it's kind of dark for a highlighter, but it's, yeah, it's basically like a highlighter. So I am going to apply the blush side first. This is really pretty corally, peachy color. And I'm just gonna brush that over my cheeks here and then blend that in with my fingers. So that's giving my cheeks a nice flush. And now I'm gonna move over to the Illuminate side and I'm gonna brush that right on the tops here. Kind of gives my cheeks like a wet kind of look. 
on my nose. All right, so I have these cream products down. Let's move over to the powder face products. So I have the um, Contouring Compact. This is in number three, Nude Glow, as you guys know. I am going to brush very lightly this uh, blush color, this one in the middle here. I'm just gonna brush that over my cream blush. Oh my God, that's too many brushes and blushes there. Place the blush down first and then work it in. I don't want it too heavy. Well, I think that got pretty heavy pretty quickly. And I'm using my, sorry I didn't mention this, my Sonia G Face 2 brush. And I like this brush if I'm looking for um, a more precise application of a powder product because it's a little bit smaller than the usual kind of powder brush and it works really well to buff things in too. So I like this brush for this kind of application. So there, so I have a pretty kind of sunburnt look to my face now, which is really nice. I think for um, summertime, put a little, a little bit there, maybe a little bit here. Next, we have two uh, the two highlighters here. One's like a cool one, and one is a warm one. I'm gonna try and utilize both. I'm gonna use the warm highlighter kind of towards the back of my cheeks here, and I'm just gonna use my Sonia G Sculpt Three brush. I'm just dipping that into the product. Brush that back here. Very subtle. And I'm going to take the cooler one, same brush, and I'm going to focus that on more like the center or closer to my nose, the center part of my face. Kind of brighten my whole face up a little bit. Maybe use a little bit of that down the center of my nose. So they're all the cheek products. We also have that sheer cheek duo in the exotic flora. I don't know how much more cheek product I can fit on here, but uh, let's try, since this is not really similar, but at least it's in the same color family as the one that's in the contouring compact, let me go ahead and use this one, which is a pinkier, cooler blush. Darker than the other blush, for sure. I'm kind of doing a, a draping thing now. <laughs> I just have that on the back there. It's a nice compliment. If you're into blush, you have to be into blush for this. <laughs> All right, so next I have a bunch of eye products. I have, as you guys know, the cream eyeshadow duos. I have the extreme eyeshadow singles. Um, I have the um, dual ended, the shade and illuminate eye cold duos. So I think I'm gonna leave the extreme eyeshadows out of this. I feel like that is a completely different look from like this very typical Soleil collection that he has every year. So I'm gonna go with the, the duos and the, um, the duo pencils. And I think I'm gonna go with the Emerald Isles. This to me is a little bit more uh, neutral, if you will, a little bit more neutral, a little bit more subdued. And I'm just gonna use my finger and apply that to my lid putting a little bit on my uh, ring finger here, all over the lid. And what I like the most about this Emerald Isles is it gives a really nice smoky look. And with my finger, I feel like I can very easily kind of buff out the effect. So you can see that this color is not like in your face. It just kind of gives a nice wash of color so there is the Emerald Isles uh, cream product down. I worked it pretty sheer. I'm gonna go ahead and put the topper on here. And I like these toppers a lot. They really add a nice shimmer to the lid. So there is the topper on top of the cream product. I really like these toppers. Nice. They give you a really nice glittery effect. So let's move on to the um, Shade and Illuminate Eye Cold Duos. I think I'm going to tight line with the Aventura, the like tealy color, and just add a little definition to my upper lash line. So just added a little definition to my upper lash line. Now I'm going to, and I don't do this often, but I'm gonna apply some um, color to my waterline 
And I think I'm gonna use the white from the Soleil Blanc one. There's the white in my waterline. I don't even know if you guys can see that or if it made a difference. I think it did actually make the whites of my eyes look whiter. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take the taupe side of the La Ventura Duo, which is this, and I'm actually going to line my lower lash line. That does not look as defined as I like, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of that teal color uh, to the outer corners here. All right, and before I kind of finish up my eye look or whatever, I just wanna play around with the lipsticks that I got, the uh, lip color shears. So I got the two colors that he came out with, bamboo and, nu I'm just gonna say nudist, even though there's an E at the end. I think I'm gonna go with the nudist, <laughs> surprise. These are like a sheer version of those lip foils. So those are all the new Tom Ford products uh, <laughs> that I could fit on my face at once. So let me put on the rest of my makeup, like my eyebrows and stuff, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just applied um, my I just applied my eyebrows. Yeah, I just put on some eyebrows. <laughs> I just uh, also put on some mascara. And as I was putting on the mascara, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I had some like teal colored mascara to kind of match the eyeliner and that um, cream eyeshadow. And then I realized, I thought I saw promo pics of more Tom Ford stuff that's gonna be coming out maybe a little bit later on that look like colored mascara. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I thought of that subconsciously and had that thought, or maybe Tom Ford and I are just on the same wavelength. Maybe that's it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know down below if you have any questions. I'm sorry I've been really, really bad about answering questions on the last few um, videos that I put up. I've been I've been traveling, I'm sorry. I, I don't like making excuses, but it's just, I've just been really busy and I apologize. So I'm trying to get to them as they come up and it's just been difficult. And please subscribe below if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video.